tell me, where are you from? Uh, Ireland. <laughs> Ireland? Yep. What brings you here? Why did you come? Um, had my wisdom teeth pulled out about eight, nine months ago. And woke up from that, I had vertigo. I had terrible jaw pain, head pain, neck pain. It's getting worse and worse. Went to every doctor you could think of. Yeah. No one helped. <laughs> yeah. Did, uh, did anybody give you a diagnosis? They tell you what was wrong? Nope. Yeah. Uh, pretty much no. Had MRIs, blood tests. Couldn't find anything. Um, went to a TMJ specialist. They gave me a splint. How'd that do? Made the slightest difference, like very slight. When did the uh, wisdom teeth come out? How old? Uh, 22. 22? Yeah. So prior to 22, no issues? No, it was just, uh, I was getting a few headaches before the wisdom tooth surgery. Um, was growing impacted, growing sideways. So the dentist said, that's probably the reason. They said, oh, I'll, I'll give you headaches, so I'll get it out, you know. You said you had a bunch of MRIs. What did they take the MRIs of? Uh, brain, neck. Yeah. Did you have one of each? Yeah, one of each. Was it a neurologist or a neurosurgeon that looked at that, or do you know? Um, um, just the radiographers, I think. And then I went to, I had to go to a neurosurgeon as well for the assist in the brain, but the assist was doing nothing. I went there and they said, it's completely benign. It's not interfering with anything. So don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. This isn't causing any pain or anything. So they cleared your neck, they cleared your brain, and you were like, what the hell else am I going to do here, right? Yep. So it was getting progressively worse? Um... No physio helped a lot. Held the neck anyway. Yeah. Um, held the dizziness in the neck, but she couldn't really f help the jaw. She was just kind of like, kind of like you know, I would help a little bit temporarily, but it would keep coming back. What was she doing with the physiotherapy? Just exercises, really. Yeah. She told me to go snorkeling a lot because the neck goes in the perfect position, and that did actually really help. But again, it was temporary. You know, it helped for a few days. Isn't that and cold in Ireland to snorkel? It's the... freezing. <laughs> Man, yeah. you sure it wasn't the cold that made you feel better? It's like numb. <laughs> Maybe I was just too numb, yeah. When we walked in today, we just finished our DTR because we cleared you yesterday with all of our screening. Yeah. The CT, the MRI. You know, you were a little bit of a sketchy case, but it was doable. So you decided to go ahead and go with it. Um, what were your symptoms like, like last week and yesterday before we did anything? Um, extremely tight tight face, um, jaw pain coming from here, especially around here, yeah. kind of behind here. It would often feel like I was being almost choked. Sure. Tight around here. Um, just feeling exhausted all the time. Yeah. Couldn't concentrate. Um, get lingering headaches around here. I still have a tiny bit of one, but we just did it, so <laughs> yeah. it's not too bad, but it's definitely, my face feels a lot looser anyway at the moment. What did it feel like? What was your experience? Um, well, yeah, no, it, it started loosening up, like kind of about halfway when you took a break. Like you start, you know, definitely start feeling it loosening a lot. Yeah. My neck started feeling um, less tense around here. I had that little sudden rush of like, <laughs> kind of like a release almost, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so no, it feels, I mean, it's early, early days, but yeah, so I mean, we're going to have to, 30 minutes. I don't want to get ahead of myself and be like, oh, it's all fixed, but like, no, you know, it's going to, I'll have to start eating things and see, mm -hmm. I'll start trying to talk loud and see what happens because that's one thing I've been able to do. <laughs> yeah. How about your range of motion? Like going left and right with your neck, is that any different? Was that tight? Um, oh yeah, totally. Uh, do you have any advice for anybody? Like what would you tell um, yourself if you were watching the video before you decide to do this? Don't get your wisdom teeth pulled out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> for one. <laughs> unless you really need to, unless it's like horribly infected or something, don't bother. Like, so when you go to the dentist and they say, you need to have this removed, get that removed, question it a lot. Don't. Well, one of your medial poles is torn on your MRI. Yeah. And the only thing we can figure that caused that was likely the extraction of the wisdom teeth. Because yeah, exactly, yeah. When they knocked you out, they probably tore ligaments because they overcranked your jaw, your yeah, mandible, yeah. your lower jaw. That's why you're you're in this pickle. Yeah. That's why you got the problem. Yeah. So, you know, this is not going to cure the orthopedic torn ligaments by any means, but it's going to catch your bite up to the status of your joints. Is what we do with DTR. Yeah. You know, in a case that's orthopedic, and yours is orthopedic and muscular. So now your muscles over time, you know, hopefully nature will take over and it will scar over, heal over what's yeah. going on with the joint, even though your disc is displaced. You know, there was no like serious inflammation going on up there. 
if there was, we wouldn't have done this. Yeah. Your bone wasn't arthritic and breaking down, and you grew normally. Your bone was confirmed with all of our data. So yeah. you were you were a lucky guy. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyhow, are you glad you had it done? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. And so far, I am anyway. That's all right. Good. So over time, you're gonna keep us abreast of what happens. Maybe? Yeah. No. Yeah. At I'll least let you know. once. I'll let you know, definitely. Because most people blow it off. They're like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. And then I never see a damn thing. No, I'll, I'll comment on YouTube. <laughs> I'll tell them all about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you.